<clears throat> All right, once on the video, by saying call Allah Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. And shalom out to your brothers that are preaching and teaching truth worldwide. And I want to say shalom warm to the hopeful lit. <clears throat> and your brother Kaya coming back with another lesson. Today's lesson is dealing with uh, the bricks. So, yeah. Um, he had what Ethiopia, um, Iran, and Saudi Arabia. Let's see, yellow. <clears throat> Bam. The new five members Egypt, Iran, UAE, United Arab Emirates, and Saudi Arabia, and Ethiopia. So, they joined the original BRICS nation, which was which is Brazil. Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And when you look at this, it said BRICS uh, origin comprised of those <clears throat> original countries, but but this new formation. Now these countries contain more than forty percent of the world's population and over thirty percent uh, global GDP. And that's huge. Just those countries. 40% of the world's population and 30% of the world's GDP. That's a that's that's <clears throat> going up against, you know, you know, America, the Edomite hegemony. Directly going against that uh, that petrodollar. And those are some oil producing countries. UAE and Saudi Arabia. Both of those <clears throat> produce a lot of oil, especially Saudi Arabia. Actually both of them. So let me go ahead and get this. Play this article. Well, not article. <laughs> Play this video real quick. Pretty much it around that area there. Look at some of these comments. Hey, the the uh, ten members of the bricks right now. What you understand? Hey, this the only fulfilling um, prophecy. At the end of the day, you know, hey, this 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 dollar must crash. Now, whether the Lord utilizes these countries, 
to put a strain on the petrodollar. We understand in order for uh, 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 the implementation of the RFID chip with your Mark the Beast, this current system has to go down. Lord willing, the Lord can use this, you know, this, this battle between Briggs and the American petrodollar to bring down a, this Edomite hegemony so that a crash the dollar, bam, roll out the chip. Call in, how about Shimon Shah? So I think I got. <clears throat> I think that was it on um, that. Let's see. All right. So, yeah, let's get just really I only got one main scripture. Spirit had me one pull something else. I will. So, this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, save your how, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate. We can go on fish gate, that's a marketplace. So what's the number one marketplace in the world? Guessed it. Here, America, Babylon, and Great. The, the, well, here it is. We only have, what, 300 some million people, but we are the largest consuming country in the world. I looked that up several times. <clears throat> you brothers can look it up. But yeah, this is the largest consuming country in the world. And here it is, you got those uh, uh, 10 different countries <laughs> t together, and that's what 30% of the world's what GDP, but you got, here it is, America, Babylon, the Great. As a matter, matter of fact, let me, uh, world, um, uh, no. Largest some countries. A uh, country. All right. So you got. The largest consumer markets. You got United States at the top. And then you got the EU. Here it is. You got China and India. They each have over a billion people. Those two countries together is is only what uh uh eight million, I guess, household, whatever I don't know, but that's not even half because what it's that number is 18 for the United States and them two countries, not even half of the consumer market that we have here in America, Babylon, the Great. So, <laughs> so just by them, <laughs> they got basically got to combine forces <clears throat> to basically try to break down, you know, this, this, hey, this Western dollar, this Edomite hegemony. So, go back right here. And it shall come, Zephaniah 1 verse 10, and it shall come to pass in that day, save your how, that there shall be a noise, be the noise of a cry from the fish gate. This is the number one marketplace. Just just proved it. This is the number one marketplace. What did it say? But there shall be a noise, a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. Yeah, that dollar must crash. However, you know, your how about your mouth shot sets it up. Lord willing, the Lord could be using this BRICS nation to put a strain on the American petrodollar because a lot of those oil producing country, America was having them to buy oil and, and USD. But now they won't be buying it in USD because I think part of that, that BRICS, they, I think they're supposed to be dropping the dollar. Verse 11, how ye inhabitants of Mectash for all their merchant people are cut down and all their bare silver are cut off. So yeah, all the merchant people, hey, they, 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 uh, they're gonna be cut down and all they that bare silver are gonna be cut off. So hey, this is beautiful. Everything that's happening right now is biblical prophecy. These countries joining together, 
the Lord already had his the Lord already had his prescribed since basically since the foundation of the earth. This had to happen. Get this right here. It's Habakkuk 2 verse 1. And I was standing upon my watch and set me upon the tower and would watch to see what he would say unto me and what I should answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run and read it. So, yeah, so our job is to make these scriptures plain upon table. So we read scriptures like Zephaniah, like I just went into Zephaniah 1. And we're able to break it down. Here it is. Because a, a, a lot of times, you know, our people, they see Zephaniah 1 verse 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, said Yahweh, that there shall be a noise of a cry from the fish gate. They won't <clears throat> liken that to a marketplace. Because if you think about it, if you ever go to like a place um, that, 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 that that's like a a marketplace, I know in Seattle, you know places like that, that the coastal cities, they have all these markets lined up. We basically go and buy like fresh seafood, and it's like you know it's it's it's, it's a market. You go in and they uh, they be tossing fish, salmon, whatever they call you know just tossing around so that's an actual like marketplace so our job when we make the uh make the vision plain upon the table like a, a precept like this this is talking about a marketplace and what's the number one marketplace in the world and when they looked it up that's america babylon and great so our job is to make it plain upon the table and the howling from the second and the great crashing from the hills so our job is to make that plain. What is that, what is that going into? The crash of the, the American petrodollar. So when we, uh, our job is to read the scriptures, break them down, make it plain upon tables. So back here in Habakkuk 2. <clears throat> Habakkuk 2 verse 2. And you have answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision or the prophecies is yet for an appointed time. This is that appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So we're at the time where the prophecies aren't tearing. Hey, they're moving forward. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time, Shalom and a Bible ball.